kinds of good stuff on this. Oh, no, no, no. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Philly Cheese Gaming. My name is Philip, but as always, you can just call me Philly Cheese. And today we are back with some more. Er, uh, <laughs> today we're back with some more Ark Scorched Earth Survival Evolved, all that fun stuff. And we're gonna drop one of these sleeping bags because they're really heavy. But we are continuing today on our ooh metal metal node. We are continuing on our quest today to find a home. We are gonna try to find somewhere cool to settle. Um, not necessarily cool temperature wise, but cool as in interesting. So we are going to keep following this riverbed until it leads us to water. Along the way we're going to continue to gather some supplies. Mostly just hide and meat because those are all very, very useful things. Ooh, that kangaroo's running from something. Is that stomping around over there? That's just a moth wing. Okay. I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead and apply that level up. And push the kitty away. Okay. So let's go with... Let's increase our max health. We haven't done that yet. And as far as our ingram points, we're going to learn the doorway and the door. <laughs> so we're going to build ourselves a thatch house once we find where we want to be. What are they? They're attacking something. Something must have attacked, been dumb enough to attack one of them. When there's more than one Morella tops around, they will charge and deal some damage. Oh my gosh, and now the moth is getting into the fight. Is that a thorny dragon, I think? Give me your water. Thank you. Oh, nope, sorry. All right, whatever. Now, they've probably killed whatever it was that's over here, but since they're all herbivores, they probably didn't eat it. So we may be able to get some free resources off of this corpse of whatever this is. I bet you it was like a thorny dragon. Unless it ran away, which it very well may have done. Nope, it's right here. Awesome sauce. We're gonna get keratin. We're gonna get hide. We're gonna get meat. You know, all kinds of good stuff like this. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Okay, I think we lost them. Yes, they are all stuck on each other and the rock, and they're going to forget about me. Nope! One of them is going to keep coming after me. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, alright, okay. Are we okay? I think we're okay. So the reason that was so difficult is because we are so heavy. So we need to drop some junk here. Uh, we may as well drop the campfire. That is easy to remake when the time comes. And that put us back down to 81. That helps. Yeah, that's a fairly, fairly all right movement speed again. We're just going to stay up here until we get past them, though, just in case. Now, did I get everything off that thorny dragon? I don't even know. I think I did. I kind of just bolted, as, you know, one must do when you anger something that large. Well, I'm pretty sure it was right here, so we either got it all or it decayed during the, uh, the Great Morellatops escape.
So, we shall continue along on our journey. Those water bugs sound like the flying ants, which are not terribly dangerous, but they, I mean, they can be in decent numbers. They can mess you up pretty good. So, that sound always makes me nervous. It's that same kind of buzzing sound. Oh, <laughs> did you just poop, sir, in midair? Drop it on all of us, poor folks. All right, it is hot out there. <clears throat> And that's a thorny dragon. There's that terrifying insect sound again. And there's a thorny dragon. See, if I had a spyglass, I could see what level he is, but I'm nowhere near that yet. I also don't have the bow yet, so it's not worth it to try to kill it. I am not going to have enough spears for that. What are you? Is that a Carno or a Rex or something? It's probably a Carno that size. That is bad news bears. We cannot handle that thing. However, if we stay up here, we should be okay. Also, we're getting hungry, so we're going to eat also free up some weight help us to get around a little faster because if that thing does come up here we're gonna need to bolt so try to stay okay it's over there now and it's kind of wandering away there's I don't think it would be able to get to us up here anyway and it's hunting something over there so I think we're okay we can continue along as long as we don't fall down. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I want to check that out. But that thing's over there. Whoa, whoa. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, we might die. We're gonna die. No! 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 So you guys tell me, should I have kept fighting that thing, or should I have, like, tried to run? Because it seemed like it was going really fast. But then I tried to run, and that didn't really help me any. Yay, we have nothing. And it's hot. Excellent. To just see that heat radiating, look at that. Doesn't it just look warm? Yeah, we're dying of heat stroke slowly. Ah, oh, yes, shade. Okay, now then. Uh, our Jerboa buddy probably got killed too. We're not super far from where we were though. And I am no good at reading this map. I think we need to go up this way. Y'all hear that? Um, hi guys. So, we're back. Sorry about that. Minor technical difficulties. Uh, essentially either my capture card or the hard drive hooked up to my capture card, I'm not sure which, decided to stop recording and not really let me know. It basically recorded two dummy files that are 0, 0.0 seconds in length and I'm pretty upset about it because, well, what we found was water. We had just found water, you guys. And, uh, and I got really excited because there's water and there's trees and there's fish in the water and there's 
There's just all kinds of great stuff here. And so we, ouch, uh, proceeded with the episode. Where'd you go? Where are you? Little fishy. Come here, come here. Get insolent fish. Come here. Okay. All that work for five fish meat. Anyway, we get all excited by this little valley and uh, we build a house and all kinds of stuff. And it was really great footage and I'm really pretty upset that it's gone. So when I figure out which of my two devices is responsible for the loss, it will be held accountable. Fear not. Well, the device better be afraid. If you come clean now, I'll make it an easy death. Maybe. I don't think it's going to just pop up and tell me, oh, hey, I'm the one that screwed it up, so we'll figure it out somehow. Anyway, in the meantime, welcome to Serenity Valley. So we've got uh, a place for drops over there. We've got water with fish below us. There's more water with fish over there. There's all kinds of wood, all kinds of berries and sap and silk and all kinds of good stuff around here. So we decided to build a house. So we have built ourselves a house. We built ourselves a bed, campfire. We've got some fairly organized storage. We've got a mortar and pestle going. We're starting to work on making uh, some adobe, but the main goal was to make narcotic so that we can get ourselves some tame. And we've amassed 46 narcotics so far. And we leveled up enough in the process to where we can build the bow, the stone arrows, and even more importantly, the trank arrows. We also got the bola and the boomerang. So we have everything and the whip. I mean, we've got everything we need to go out and get us some tames. So this is where we are going to end things for real. Um, and next time, we are going to go out and get us some animals. We need a jerboa really badly. While I was out grinding resources, um, I got caught in a sandstorm, and I, like, almost couldn't find my way back to the house. We weren't even that far away. It just gets really, really hard to see. Again, I'm bummed we lost all this footage, because, I mean, it was, it was pretty damn harrowing. Uh, but we made it. <clears throat> but if I'd had a jerboa with me, I would have known the storm was coming, and I would have gone inside and shut my little door and hid, like, the little coward man that I am. No, but those sandstorms are brutal. They sap your stamina, they make it so you can't run, they weigh you down, they add sand to your inventory, which is crazy. I mean, it makes sense, but it's nuts, and you can't see anything. I mean, for real. Nothing. So, this is where we're going to end it for now. And next time, we are going to go out and get us some tames. We're going to get a Jaboa, we're going to get a mount. I kind of already said that. I'm repeating myself a little bit, but I was all excited to play this game and instead found out that I had to do some recap footage. Wop, wop, wop. So we will see you guys next time. If you liked what you've seen so far, please do hit the like button. Uh, it really helps grow the channel. Um, and if you're new, why don't you subscribe? I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers so I can get a custom URL, so I'd really appreciate the subscription. And uh, drop me some comments down below. I'd love to get a conversation going. I really enjoy this game and I love talking about it too. So throw me some tips, throw me some rantings and ravings, whatever you want. We'll, we'll talk. It's cool. And I'll see you guys next time here on Philly Cheese Gaming. This is Philip signing off.